This is a demonstration of how to use the large bed automatic hydraulic tilt tail lift from Anteo, the 2013 model. First I'll familiarise you with the controls. Open the control box there and they have the, the operation button and the joystick. Round this side you have the safety carabiner there which is attached to this cable and prevents unauthorised use um, or accidental use which could lead to injury or damage and I'll also draw your attention to these these arrows here the markers because they're, they're quite important that this arrow meets up with this arrow um, when the when the bed's tilted. There are several um, imperatives to consider whenever you're using this tail lift, most of which apply to the use of, of any tail lift and these include coning off the area before starting work especially if it's close to a, a thoroughfare or, an, or a pedestrianised area. Uh, the second is this safety stop here which is the mechanical lock that prevents the tail lift from falling during transit in the event of a hydraulic failure. So we've combed off the area and made sure that the work area is clear. So the first thing we need to do is unclip the safety wire which is a simple process. It dangles there, can't go anywhere. And now to the to the hand controls. First of all, for for external operation uh, using the joystick, in order to uh, activate the joystick, you need to twist this knob and hold it at position one, whilst ever you're using the control the joystick. Otherwise, you can move the joystick as much as you like, it won't do anything because there's no power to it coming from, from this switch here. So now the first thing to do is to lower the, the tail lift so it's out of the safety lock and these two arrows line up there. So first we twist and hold the control knob to position one and then we move the joystick downwards until the arrows have lined up. If you go past the arrows and you need to realign, you can nudge up or nudge down with the joystick, remembering to always twist number one with the control knob. If at any point you feel that there's a safety risk or anything's happening which you're not happy with, in case of letting go of of either control will stop the motion of the tail lift, especially the control switch because this overrides the joystick. It's of utmost importance to ensure that the arrow on the tail lift isn't in the no tilt area, which is anywhere from where it says no tilt or above and this is to prevent damage being done to the, the body or the tail lift. Once you're happy that the work area is clear and safe and you're ready to deploy the tail lift, again you twist the control knob to position one and hold it there and you pull the joystick across to the left which will lower the tail lift in a controlled speed um, and you keep this held until it's fully deployed it will stop at around 90 degrees, you, you, can't, um, you can't take it beyond that, so there's, there's no fear of uh, doing damage that way. Once it's 
down the full 90 degrees, you can let go of the controls and then you're ready to use the tail lift, which is a simple twist to number one again and up or down on the con on the joystick to control the tail lift. There's also a secondary control unit which you don't need the, uh, the control knob to operate. This one's powered at all times and is, has simple up and down functionality. When operating this from being stood on the tail lift, it's important that you stand in the marked area to avoid any, any accident or injury at the edge of the tail lift. To stow the tail lift, we simply reverse the process. It's important to ensure that the tail lift goes all the way up till it hits the mechanical stop uh, to ensure it can't fall uh, when it's not being operated. And another important thing to remember is to always put the manual catch on as well for safety.